Welcome to the Restricted section, a channel dedicated to all things Harry Potter. If you're new here, be sure to press the subscribe button for more. Today we're going to be talking about the Maledictus. Much like the Obscurial or Obscurus, this is a new addition to the Harry Potter universe from the Fantastic Beasts movies. A Maledictus is a person who is blood cursed, a curse that dooms that person to eventually transform into a beast forever. From the trailers, we can assume that before the permanent change takes place, the Maledictus can transform into the beast at will, as we see Nagini do while she is still in attraction at the Circus Arcanum. Now, a Maledictus is different to an Animagus. This is a person who can transform at will into an animal. James Potter, Sirius Black, Peter Pettigrew, Rita Skeeter, and Minerva McGonagall are just a few examples of Animagi. A Maledictus is not an Animagi, as the Animagi can change back and forth at will, whereas the Maledictus is cursed to eventually remain a beast forever. We also know from JK Rowling herself that Maledictus are always female, a blood curse passed down from mother to daughter. So we know that Nagini's mother was a Maledictus as well. As for the form she took, we can only speculate if it was that of a snake or some other form of beast. The etymology of the word Maledictus can be broken down into Latin. Mal, of course, meaning bad. Think of malnourished. Dictus comes from the word dictate, to speak, or spoken. Maledictus could mean bad words, or cursed words. Personally, with Nagini being revealed as once being a cursed witch is infinitely fascinating to me, and answers some questions as to Nagini's nature in the Harry Potter novels. I can't wait to learn more about Nagini, her backstory, and how she handles being cursed as a Maledictus. What do you think of Nagini, the Maledictus, and the curse itself? Let me know in the comments below and thank you for visiting the restricted section.